Hello, adventurers. Welcome to Adventure with Sarah. I'm teacher Sarah here, and I will be doing this video clip, this creative activity with you today. And today we'll be doing doctor. We're learning about doctor. And it is our community heroes second lesson. All right, we learn about the firefighter um, before, uh, before this. And today we'll be learning about doctors. So let me share screen with you. So doctors. Doctors. Who are doctors? Do you know who are doctors? Yeah, when we are sick, who do we look for? We look for doctors, correct? Yeah, so doctors is someone who, is of, who must be qualified, right? And who must be qualified in medicine, qualified in medicine, medicine to be precise, and treat people, treat patients who are ill and sick. So in other words, they help sick people. They help sick people um, uh, from being sick, from being more sick, all right? To save people's life as well, all right? So there's a saying says, there's a saying says, an apple a day will keep a doctor away. What does it mean? What do you understand about an apple a day keeps a doctor away? Does that mean that the doctor is very scared of the apple? No, <laughs> all right? Well, apple, what is apple? Apple is fruits. Correct. So when we eat a lot of fruits, it keeps us healthy. Correct? Right. So we have to eat a lot of fruits. So when we are healthy, what will happen? We will seldom fall sick, hardly fall sick. That will keep us seeing doctor so often. So remember, children, do eat a lot of apples and fruits to keep yourself healthy so you can stay away from doctors. Correct? But when you are sick, when you're not feeling well, who do we need to seek for? Obviously, doctor. Yes. Why do we need to see doctor? So that we will know what is wrong with us. Whether we have flu or we have what kind of fever we have, we have sore throat and so on. And when we are very serious ill, what happened? What doctors will try to do? Doctors, of course, will try their very, very, very best to save, to revive a person's life. Just like this. Okay, so that's what doctors does. They are really selfless people who try to save other people's life as well. Just like uh, the firefighters, but in a different manner. Okay, so during this pandemic, during uh period, we want to thank you, Q, these doctors that have contributed, that have helped and sacrificed their lives, their time, uh, just to help and, and monitor during, uh, during this bad time, this pandemic time uh, for this coronavirus. They are called the frontliners, all right? They really sacrifice a lot, working long, 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 long hours just by trying to help those people that are suffering in this coronavirus. And can you see what they are they wearing? They are all suited up with them. The mask on, the goggles on, the mask on, and all this suit. What are these suit called? It's called a PPE suit. You have to wear this in once they enter the hospital. Okay, once they try to treat a patient, they have to wear this for the whole um, period of time in the hospital. So can you imagine how hot and suffering by wearing this suit? All right, this suit is called PPE. It's called Personal Protective Equipment. Why they need to wear this is actually to keep them safe from the virus, from getting sick. All right, to keep them safe, to keep them away from getting the virus so that they won't fall sick so easily. Yeah, right. So during this time, you can see, you can see they are all suit up in the glove and all, right. And during this time, most of them, most of them are away from their family. It is really, really tough for them because they do not want their family, their loved one to fall sick at this present time. So they have to stay away from their children, from their mommy, from their daddy. So it was really, really, really tough time, a stressful time for them. So we really need to thank them, all right, to give um to thank these doctors, sacrifice their life, their time for us for us truly. So today, we want to thank them for, thank you, them doctors for saving life by doing a drawing for them. Okay, can we do that children? Can we do that children? So let me stop sharing screen here. So what I have prepared for you in this clip is, you need to bring out, 
it says doctor. Okay, so we're going to do drawing. We're going to do drawing. So what you need from home is pencil, of course, eraser. All right, uh, coloring tool. What coloring tool would you like to use? You can use color pencil. You can use crayon. If you want to use painting, you can use painting as well. All right, I like to use this. It's called Silky Painting Crayon. I got it from Mr. DIY. It's inexpensive. You can try get it from there too. too. So besides that, we do need glue. We do need glue. If you have glue uh, for this, this uh, activity, we need a liquid glue. All right, we need liquid glue. So uh, I will be showing you step-by-step -step video as well, how to do that. Okay, so let's go. So let me show you again, what do you need from your craft boxes? Uh, do bring up this doctor uh, that is labeled this doctor uh, material, this paper, this plastic, all right? Okay, since it's doc doc doctor, your glue, you need this uh, black, uh, this is clay, black clay. And I will show you what we're going to use this for. Your watercolor patch, okay, we do need this as well. This is, mine is reused one, right? Your coloring tool, what do you want to use? Color pencil, crayon, you want to use watercolor using this as well, also can. But today, I will be using this silky painting crayon, all right? It's similar to oil pastel, but it's not as dirty as oil pastel. You can get it from Mr. DIY, all right? It's very nice to color with this. Uh, other than that, marker. Since it's a drawing activity, we do need your pencil, your eraser, all right, uh, from home. Oh yeah, not to forget brush also, okay? Brush as well, all right? So I'm gonna guide you how to draw uh, a doctor, a very simple doctor, okay? So I have opened up the plastic. In the plastic, we have this art block. I can open up the art block and draw a doctor. Oh, okay. So to draw the doctor, we want to make the paper uh, portrait like that, okay? Portrait like that, straight. I can see, okay, straight like that. And then what else? In that plastic, we have this aluminium foil. Let me show you what we're going to do with this. And this round cut. Okay, let's put this aside first. And let's start doing drawing. As you can see, I have sketched lightly an oval shape here. Can you guess what could that be? Mm, yeah, it's supposed to be the doctor's head. I, uh, Teacher Sarah draws a very brief uh, lightly over here. So you can estimate the size of the head. We're just going to draw half. Half. Of the body of the doctor okay I'm just gonna draw half so here for the head so let's get started so here for the head if you want to follow my oval shape you can follow but if you want to draw your own you could draw your very own face okay it's totally up to you all right so I'm just going to use this as my guidance I'm going to use pencil always draw with pencil and draw it lightly first okay so I draw the head here I want to follow the shape try to draw another layer of it okay if you're not happy you can erase teacher sarah's uh oval shape and you draw your very own uh, face okay so after that try start drawing the ears yes every one of us has two ears right and then you can draw a hair oh curly hair that all right the hair okay Okay, so this line here you can erase it. This line here you can erase it. Okay, you can erase it. if you want a girl doctor, you can draw a girl doctor. You can give it a longer hair. Okay, so this line we're gonna erase it. Right. So this is the hair. Oh, when you draw, remember don't draw too hard. Okay, or else you will have hard time erasing it. Right. Okay. All right. So we finish drawing the hair. Enjoy the hair. So next, the eyes. What kind of eyes you want? Don't forget the eyebrow, the eyes. Okay, the eyes. Uh, inside the eyes. Don't have to color it because you're going to use your coloring tool to color it. And then the nose. I like to do the L shape like that. The nose and the mouth. Oh yeah. Since now is the uh, COVID season, why not we give this doctor a mask? Okay, why not we give this doctor a mask? Shall we draw a mask then? So we draw a mask, cover the face with mask. Okay, cover the face with mask. So when you draw a mask here, what do you need to do? 
we need to cover the erase the nose and the mouth correct we need to erase the nose and the mouth correct and erase this chin here as well okay to show that this doctor is wearing a mask to protect himself from getting sick all right to protect himself from getting sick you can draw the string here and the string here oops like this one and the string over here okay 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 later you color you color over it then you won't see the nose and the mouth anymore okay so this is his mask okay cover it now so just ever say don't draw too hard if not you will have have a hard time to do to erase hmm? did you draw too hard really that's why you can see the line here okay so when you're done then let's start drawing the neck okay two curve line here all right two curve line here we draw let's draw a v shape here okay let's draw a v shape here all right so what else do we need to draw we draw the doctor wearing a doctor coat okay so we draw a collar here uh, okay wait before that we draw a v shape here so it shows that the doctor is wearing his doctor coat okay another v here okay another v here coming down Okay, shall we continue? I'm not very happy with here, so I'm just going to draw a border shoulder here. Border, okay? This another shoulder wasn't broad enough. So, okay, so you draw these two V here and another V here. Okay, this is the inside shirt, and now we're going to give him the doctor coat. Okay, so here, down like that, come down. All right, and here as well, you follow the collar, the collar of the shirt. Can you try doing that? Can you try doing that? Ah, uh, this one. Okay, then you draw the V all the way down here. Okay? Yep. So it erase. I hope you can follow. Follow slowly. You can always pause and replay. Pause and replay, okay? Alright. Actually, this is my first doing tutorial in video, okay? Alright, so next, you can, this one here, you can come all the way down for the hand. Alright? All the way down for the hand. So that's it. Here's your Mr. Doctor. So if you want a girl, you can draw a long hair. One girl, you can draw a long hair here. Coming down. Alright. If you want boy, you can keep the boy hair. Short. So I'm just going to erase this because I think I prefer a boy. Alright. So let's do next. Let's go and color now. We're going to color now. So we are going to start coloring. As you can see, I'm going to use this silky crayon. You can use color pencil, you can use crayon or oil pencil, totally up to you. Alright, so I'm going to color the face first. So as the face, I'm going to use this one inside and this one outside. Okay, what do I mean by inside and outside? So for this one, I'm just going to draw the outline. The ears. And the face is the same color, right? So let's put it. I draw the outline first. It's a simple blending kind of uh, the simplest blending, okay? Just draw the outline with the darker color. Don't forget to pull it back. And I use the lighter color to now color it. To color it. So you can see a little blend there. Alright. Okay. So I just color all the way. Okay. Try to color inside the line. Okay, don't color the eyes. Just color the face. All right, just color the face. Oopsie. You color across the line doesn't matter, huh? Okay, doesn't matter. So we're gonna color the face. Face or yellow? Oh, not yellow. Light orange. Okay. I don't have beige, so that's why I use this color. So if you want your doctor to have darker skin, brown, you can always use brown. Okay. I want my doctor to have fair skin so i use this like orange oh, it all depends on you okay it is all depends on you remember this is your artwork i'm just guiding you how to do this but you can always create your very very own right okay so we are done with this the face make sure no white spots so I like to use this because it's very smooth. Alright, so if you want your doctor to have darker skin, which you want brown color, you can always take this brown. Okay, 
will have the outline for this and inside is this right outline for this and then inside coloring is this color okay so i'm going to put it this back here so next thing i don't want to use black first because sometimes black can be really dirty so i will use black last let's color the mask okay now this mask has many colors right but we're just going to remain blue so for blue i was i'm going to take these two blue so for the outline i use the dark blue draw the outline first draw the outline oops the Alright, outline here and then color it with this light blue. Da, 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 da. Okay. I will let, try to blend it together with the dark blue. Color it with the blue. Yeah, I can cover over the mouth as well. Okay, so you can see the doctor is protecting himself by putting mask on. So make sure when you all go out, Put your mask on too. This is one way to protect ourselves from getting the virus, right? From getting the virus. So make sure no white spots. Make sure no white spots. Okay. Let's see. Ah, uh, still got a big white spot. Okay. All right. Are you happy with it? I think I'm happy with it. So the shirt, I would like it to be blue as well. Okay, I would like it to be blue as well. So I'm going to draw the shirt here, the blue outline as well. The inner shirt is blue, but the outer layer, which is a doctor coat, it will be white. Okay, be white. So for white, white outline, I'm going to use closest to white. Let me let us see later. Okay. Okay, put the color all the way. Try to blend it together with the dark blue. Okay, let's continue. Color finish. Ta da! And here we are done. The inner shirt. Okay, I'm going to blend it first together with the dark blue. Blend together, okay? Alright, so we finish. So next is the coat. The coat will be white, right? So I'm going to use grey color to color the outline of the coat. Ah, not the color, I mean, draw the outline of the coat. Grey color. It's the collar. Hmm. What about if you're wondering what about the doctor uh, stethoscope? You no, know, the doctor uses a stethoscope to listen to our heartbeat. Yeah, that's why uh, later teacher Sarah will show you how to do the stethoscope. Okay, we're not going to draw the stethoscope. I'm just going to use another way to do the stethoscope. So if you have white, you can always color. If you don't have, just leave it. Lah. All right. I always, always like to color so it's not um, it doesn't feel unfinished at least no try to blend it together with the white at least a color so it feels like um, it's finished it's done unless it feels like it's not finished right so okay I blend it together with white and grey mm, try not to overlap the blue is it what did you say Sarah dirty already but it doesn't matter okay Remember, if you make mistake, it's fine. I always like to tell my student, make mistake is fine. We learn from making mistake, and we will get better. Every mistake we make, the next time we do again, we will get better. Okay. So practice makes us better. Okay. All right. So one side is done. Let's do it. The next side. This side here not done yet. Blend it together with the grey. Yeah, again, you can use any color. You want to use color pencil, you can use color pencil, oil pastel, crayon. One thing I don't like about oil pastel is because it stains our hand. This will stain your hand too, but it's just that it's cleaner compared to oil pastel. Okay. Alright, I'm almost done already. So if you're planning to do uh, color this with uh, painting, if you're planning to color this with painting, what I suggest you to do is uh, draw the outline with the marker pen. Okay, draw the outline with marker pen and then you can start painting. Alright, okay. So, oh, what is next? Ah, don't forget, I like to keep this last. The color the hair and the eyes. Oh, what color hair you want? Our Asian hair, most of us are 
have black hair, right? So you can color black. Let's do the outline first. Okay. Black is the darkest color already, right? So, no out. So, just gonna color black here. If you want your doctor to be an old man or old lady, you can color it gray color, alright? If you want your doctor to be um western, huh? You can color maybe blonde hair, which is yellow color. Uh, you, know, if you can color red also if you want. If the doctor actually dyed his hair, color his hair. Lah, okay. All right. Uh, finishing it with black color. Remember, you don't have to follow teacher Sarah. Color your doctor hair brown color also can. My color now, my like my hair color now, because I actually colored my hair. Yeah. So again, I repeat: if you want your doctor to be an old man or old lady, you can color white hair or gray hair. Okay. Or if you want your your doctor to be bald, bota, bald, you can draw hairless doctor. <laughs> Okay, color inside. My doctor looks like it has an eyeliner. I draw the, I draw too dark already the outline. Color inside. Okay, so we finish coloring the doctor. It looks a bit funny. Looks like I have an eyeliner. So that's my doctor. So once you're done here, I want to cut paint. I don't want to color the background with this. It's going to be tiring. So I'm going to color the background with the paint so i will be using hmm, my paint which is this okay the color pack so you can bring this out and put some water just a little water okay i'll be using this container so you need uh, some water for this okay, just put this away need some water for this here let me put in the middle you need your watercolor patch this watercolor is a non-messy watercolor and not to forget a brush so i choose the bigger brush because the area to cut paint is big so if you take a small brush it's going to take a very long time to finish painting okay so what color am i going to color the back let me see since i have blue i have like um yellowish orange i have black i have white here what color do you think i should use all right to contrast use try to use the color that you have not colored on your paper okay so from here i can use green i can use red i can use purple or brown hmm i shall use green okay i feel like using green okay why we use choose the color that we have not used so your picture stands out all right so your picture stands out so when you paint you paint left right left right okay so for this color patch you have you want the colors to be more vibrant you have to rub more like that rub 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 until the colors come out and you paint uh, okay uh, you can always put um old newspaper paper at the back so you won't dirty your table i forgot to prepare that so later i need to wipe my table this is washable so don't worry all right just that later i need to wipe my table i try not to what i like to do is i do one border a border here like that so at least i won't exit Dentally color onto the doctor, onto the picture, on the drawing picture, okay? Hmm. Rub more, rub more, rub more. I didn't rub. Uh, okay. Uh, Alright, so. Here you go. Oopsie. Left, right, left, right. Color one direction, yeah, children. You don't want it left, right, up, down, da, 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 da. then your colors looks like um everywhere okay so color one direction left right left right okay then left right so we finish one side then i'm going to finish the other side 
Okay, here got a bit of white spots. It's kind of colour here. Da, 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 da. I hope you're following. If teacher Sarah is going too fast, don't forget you can pause this video and watch and watch and 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 watch again or pause it, finish up, then continue the video. Okay, that's the good thing about video recording, alright? Okay. Okay, we are done. One side, we finish one side, we're gonna do the other side now. Hmm. We're going to do the other side. We are going to do the other side. Let's do the other side. Da da da. So this side here, I just go do the borders here. The outline there. So I don't want to accidentally color the picture. <laughs> All right. It's one way lah. Okay. So now here, left, right, left, right, left, right. Push the the colors out. Push, 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 push. Right? Dun, dun, dun. Rub, rub, rub the colors. Yeah, almost done. Almost done. Okay. My green, I didn't rub hard enough. I'm going to color one more layer. I think I'm almost done, okay? So I'm just going to push the brush at the side. So, sorry. My little girl just came into a room asking for something. So let's continue, okay? So let's finish up by brushing the paint one direction. Okay, you can color few layers, huh? but the last layer, let's color in one direction. Alright. Mm. Okay, later I need to wipe my table, see, dirty. But this paint is washable, so no need to worry. I'm not very happy on this side, so I'm just going to paint one more layer here. Push, push. Try. Mm -hmm. Remember, use the big brush, all right? Don't use the small brush. Use the more small brush. Take long time to finish painting this. Okay, if you want to draw some background behind, putting uh, some corona, corona virus behind there, you can draw also. Okay. So after drawing, you can actually write a lovely message to this doctor and say thank you, giving you know for sacrificing their life for us by protecting us from the virus as well. All right, during this pandemic, during this time, this doctor, this doctor, the frontliners, actually did a lot for us, sacrificing their time, their life, you know, just for us. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can always write that. Thank you, dear doctors. What do you want to write? Hmm? What do you want to write? Okay, I finished here. Now next, what are we going to do with this? Okay, if you notice, there is two aluminium foil. Okay, I'm going to put this away just in case I ever accidentally spill it. Alright, we are going to use this to do its step, uh, stethoscope. Okay, every doctor do have a stethoscope, right? Because for what? For them to hear our heartbeat, see? <laughs> or to hear our heartbeat, alright? So let's take out one, uh, one aluminium foil first. So the long part here, you can see here is long, here is short. So this one, you do the long part, the long one, uh, you fold it into half. Make sure you follow the line. Okay, make sure you follow the line. Okay, and then you fold it another half. Mm -hmm. And fold it another half. Make it really thin. I think we can go in another half. One more line. And 
one more. Okay, can we go one more? Try, okay? Okay, I use the other side. Close it. Close it. Make sure you will follow the line, okay? Try your best. Okay, here. So it looks like a strip now. So next thing here, you fold another half here. Okay, you fold another half and you open up like a V. Can you see? Like a V. Okay, coming out from the neck. This is a stethoscope from the back of the neck. Okay, because they like to put the stethoscope around the neck, alright? Okay, so you just leave it here first. Alright, don't stick first. For the next one, this one, the wrong one, and then you know, like this. the heart to do to do to do is it still working are you still alive <laughs> so next the clay yeah this is the clay okay before we use the clay we're gonna stick this first ah where is your glue we need liquid glue we can't use the glue stick okay so we're gonna use this liquid glue open it up mm, I'm taking my like this all right I'm gonna stick put the back of it Alright, spread the glue nicely and then stick. If there's excess of glue, just leave it lah. Stick near the neck, alright? Stick near the neck. The neck there, okay? Can you see? Are you able to see? Stick near the neck. Alright? So it goes, actually it goes around the neck. The doctor's neck, okay? And then for this one, you put glue at the back. Make sure you put glue at the back, ah, not the front, the back. The back looks crumpled one. Then you put it here. Alright, so this one is like floating, right? Like floating, ah. That's why we need our clay. Okay, so this is the clay. Actually, if you want, ah, this one you can put it down a bit also. Okay, so you can use the clay to go round the neck. Yeah, okay, let's see. Put it down a bit, so we use the clay now. Please don't use all the clay because we need some of the clay for for the police, police craft, okay? So here you're going to put two rubber here. Because here you're gonna put your eardrum there. You want it to be listen the heartbeat here, okay? Okay, how you do? Roll it, roll it. So for this one, okay, the clay, make sure you make a nice round ball, okay? The technique for this clay, you have to stretch it, stretch it, stretch it so the clay become really soft and easy to mold. Roll it nice and round and put it here. So when the doctor put around in the ears, it does not so painful. Right? <laughs> not so painful. Okay. So put it here. Okay, next thing. This thing has to go around the neck. So you do your clay. And then okay, I can show it here. Yeah, I think it was a bit dirty. Roll long worm. Long worm, okay, depending how long is it. Go around the neck here, okay, push it here. Another black, I need more, so I need more. So, long one coming down here, okay. Another long one coming down there. Let me roll. See, is it long enough? Not long enough. Then you roll some more. Too long, then you roll again. You redo. Too long, if you redo or you cut it, okay. Ah. Uh, all right, just nice. Okay, coming down from the neck. Ta -da. This one you don't need glue. You just press it down. It will stick on the paper because it's a bit sticky already. Okay, rubbery clay. And then actually you are done already. Three you are done. That's the doctor put the uh, stethoscope around the neck. All right. So lastly, since we want to... Uh, do a tribute to these doctors. Let's write a very simple note to them by saying thank you. All right. So if you're confident enough, you can straight away use your marker pen to write thank you, doctor. A very short one, uh -huh. Or if you're not confident enough, you can use pencil first. Thank you, 
doctor. Alright, you can always use the marker pen and write it on top. Then follow the outline. Hue. Why thank you, Doctor? Because you have sacrificed by saving so many lives. Right? So that's it for this activity. Teacher Sarah do hope you enjoy this craft. If you can, you can snap a picture, share with me in my Instagram, in my social media, in my Facebook. Alright? Okay? So that's it. Uh, we will see you the next lesson. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.